All right, so the Denver Broncos franchise is for sale for at least three to five million, or I'm sorry, billion dollars. But we'll talk about a little bit later how you can own a sports franchise for less, maybe around $100,000, okay? So it says the Denver franchise was valued at $3.75 billion last fall by Forbes magazine. While Forbes is not likely to have access to the deep dive data room of the franchise's revenues and expenditures, it does call an ac accurate enough summary to suggest $3.75 billion as a fair expectation. So they're not going to go lower than around this. Last time it sold for around $2.25 billion. Uh, that's the Carolina Panthers or whatever. That's the value. And uh, the Broncos sold for around that same thing last time. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to see the key takeaways, the pros and cons of owning the sports franchise. Okay, so we're going to start with the pros. I'm not going to make you read through the entire article. We're just going to go over a couple of pros. The pros are professional sports teams are valuable properties worth into the billions of dollars. All right, another pro is that ticket sales, merchandise, broadcast rights, and marketing deals all contribute to the value of the franchise. So you get a piece in all of that. Now, a couple of cons are pro teams also have somewhat of a local monopoly with only a small number of cities with teams, a limited number of teams per league, a prolonged period of team losses, injuries, excess player pay, are a scandal, however, could sink the value of the team. So it's very sensitive. Anybody gets in trouble, anybody get caught up in the news for some type of scandal, the value of the team could go down and it's hard to control athletes, as you know. So I told you I was gonna show you some franchise opportunities if you wanna get into the sports or athletics uh, industries uh, that, that are more affordable than you know a few billion dollars or whatever, okay? So here's the Skyhawks sports camp right here. And this one, you only have to invest, uh, let's see. This one, you only have to invest, I think you only have to invest around 50, no, it's $35,000. Uh, the Body Bar Pilates, you only have to invest 150,000. The Retro Fitness, you only have to invest 500,000. Uh, that's minimum cash required. That's not including setup costs, hiring, and all of that, marketing and advertising. That's just to take over the franchise itself. Amazing athletes, stretch med studios, fitness 1440, all of those. Rumble boxing, I know you might have heard of those. You can get a franchise for that for just, what, 100,000 bucks? Stretch Lab, Spinga, Cycle Bar, Nine Round Fitness. If you haven't heard of Nine Round Fitness, they're extremely popular. Uh, I've, I also heard the background on those guys. Um, so it's, it's a couple that you can check out. And this is the website called Franchise Direct. So you can come over here and check it out. I don't have any affiliate link as of now. Uh, so you just go over and, you know, consider what you want to do.